Okay, so we're going to do an unboxing of a Zygu X5105, which is a HF transceiver. And it allows me to go listen to the handbands at long distances. So this is a very nice device. And this is called a QRP device because it doesn't have a lot of power, which is excellent for the kind of environment I'm thinking about like a prepper situation where you don't have a lot of power so these big kind of radios it's kind of fun in when you have internet and you have power but if the power goes down then that's not going to help so this one is battery operated and i will show you uh what it looks like let's see i pre-sliced it open here and see what we have Okay, a little plastic cover in there. There's the manual. This is actually from China, so I was wondering if the Chinese uh, trade war was going to impact on the price, so I made sure that I bought it early before the pricing changed. So, uh, kind of a mix of, well, the manual's in English, so at least that's in English. Okay, this one it looks to be in Chinese, and I guess it's just a warranty form, and it's half in Chinese. Okay, so what's inside here? <clears throat> well, let's look for the, the big one, which is the actual radio. It's very heavy. It's it's heavy. It's not it's not like some feels like like really solid. It's almost like the weight of a real brick. I think that's because it comes with a uh, built-in battery, and the battery is, is the battery is big. Let's see if it actually starts. Yep, so it comes from the factory fully charged. I hear stuff and I don't even have an antenna. Well, I'll show you how this works later, but... Without an antenna. So we'll show you how it works later, but you can see... That's where you connect the antenna and everything. You don't need to have a power supply when it's on battery. Usually when you see like HF transceivers, they're very complex, lots of wiring and so on. This is not enough by the way, and I I, uh, I knew I had to buy some other parts with this. So it's in, uh, in addition to just this radio, I have to get a power supply, which I have, I pre-purchased right here. This is a... 30 watt power supply which I can use to charge it yeah radios don't come with power supplies so you got to get get one and you have to kind of wire it yourself in the back so this is not part of it but I have to get that the other thing I have to get with it is an antenna this is about oh over four feet long and it has uh, some little controls in there to switch bands because there's some coils in here so I had to pre-purchase this as well so I had this arrive separately so I have actually an antenna outside a, a big one but I was thinking about demonstrating the use of this in what is called QRP mode which is uh, low power mode like when you're not at home and uh, like if you're in the woods or or something and I wanted to show how this works so I bought it for that so anyway this didn't come with it but this is just one of the antennas you know you need to learn how to build your own antennas with this okay let's see what else is in here in the box <clears throat> so it looks like there's a power cable 
and this is what you uh, you install the other end to the power supply. So let's set that aside. Uh, don't know what this is used for. First, I don't know what this is used for. It's a uh, USB, and then there's a cable. This is probably to control the computer, to control the Zygu from the computer. So I'm going to have to check out what that's for. Okay, this is another cable. I'm going to guess this is for the microphone. So let me see. There's a microphone in here. Okay, it comes with uh, buttons on there so you can control it remotely, control the device remotely. And I guess it uses a, let's see, oh yeah. So that's like an internet like connection, the same, same connections like an RJ11 or RJ45. And then you plug this into the unit there. Okay, so is there anything else in here? I guess that's it. I don't see any other parts in here. So there it is. We're going to learn how to use this. I'm new at HF Radio. I just got my general license and uh, we'll figure out how this helps especially using it for the environments I'm thinking about when I'm making this video, which is uh, for proper use, proper communications, emergency communications. Uh, when the internet is down, the grid is down, how I might use this to communicate. Because uh, being an HF radio, it should be able to communicate thousands of miles. So that's the point of it. This is only five watts. So if I need to communicate very far, I probably need to learn Morse code. And I'll show you how you can do that without knowing any Morse code. There's actually software you can use to do the Morse code for you. So we'll learn about that later on as well. Okay, so uh, looks like some fun and games coming up soon when I try to figure out how this works. Okay.